Good morning, everyone. Today is vlogging day 35. I'm so excited. Three, five, 35, and I made breakfast. I just had to go in the bedroom to grab my cell phone. Um, but I made breakfast, you guys. Let me let me show you. So I made, um, it's like a wheat bread. It's kind of like a crostini. And then I just caramelized onions and cherry tomato because we're dwindling down on cherry tomato an egg um, and over some leaves and leftover caramelized and <laughs> caramelized uh, onions and tomatoes so <laughs> that was like a mouthful um, I actually passed out as you can see from last night I abruptly <laughs> abruptly ended the vlog and it's because I was just so tired you guys and I think I had that coffee midday that really just like ran me down um so laying off the coffee that's for sure I think I'm gonna have tea after this but I'm gonna dig in stinking day it was um I'm really happy I mean even though I have long days like this when I'm doing what I love it's all worth it and every mindful it mindful nourishment dinner we've had so far at Camino LA has been amazing such a refreshing experience and it's been keeping me on my toes to you know remember that I should take things slow um, and really like, you know, ground myself. So it was such a humbling experience and good seeing some familiar faces and great meeting new people. Um, and just having such a great feedback from everyone about the space. Um, I actually saw one of the, um, the, one of the women, woman who showed up from the first dinner, Jennifer, and she had such an experience and it was amazing. It touched my heart. And then it was just so cool, so great meeting, like, you know, people, great energy, and again, it just made me fall in love, even more so in food. I mean, I love food, and so when other people have, you know, the same respect and the passion, or they feel so in touch with something, just something, you know, it's amazing, you know, because I'm saying you know a lot, because you know, um, <laughs> no, but... When someone is passionate about something, it shows, and that's when the real connection clicks. Hands down, nothing will take that away, and it's crazy when you can experience that. So, I am actually not done for the night, you guys, because Raphael and Emily are on their way. We're doing um, a beach photo shoot, spoiler alert for what's tomorrow's vlog. I don't know how tomorrow's gonna go down because again I have a lot of plans. Um supposed to do a beach photo shoot and get up by the time it's sunrise. Dear God help us. Dear God, I hope we can get up when before sunrise um to get going to the beach, which will be a struggle because it is almost midnight, so I'm barely going to get sleep concealer on deck at the photo shoot that's for sure um 
So, yeah, they're coming over, and you guys will see them. I'm probably going to clean up, tidy what there is. I'm sorry, y'all. I mean, it's pretty tidy, actually. I mean, everything's kind of tucked away. It's just that um, it's, not, it's not ever as clean as I would want it to be. It's never going to be. So, as you can tell, I'm really kind of just tired right now. I, I, like, rode home with Mari, and the two of us were just kind of just we're okay with silence between us because we're kind of just like soaking in what happened tonight and then like we're also tired and yeah yeah it's just one of also the, one of those nights too where i'm just like dang i'm out here in la like this would not happen if i was not in la do you see this happening in i mean i would love to see this happening everywhere else because you know this is not just an la thing you know of course it's going to be found a lot of a lot in here in LA because that's the type of lifestyle that us people live here in LA or Southern California or in California in general but um yeah I was kind of rambling there I mean it's just one of those nights where I feel the hustle I feel the love I feel the city's embrace and it's amazing so I'm really gonna get going and I'm gonna go take a shower and freaking clean bye <laughs>